So yeah, what's up guys? I'm kind of embarrassed because I remember I did a pickup video a while back and I had said, I was like, yeah, you know, I'm not going to buy any more Neo Geo games. I think I'm pretty much done with my collection. But then I remembered a couple games that uh, I did want to get and I forgot about. So I'm kind of embarrassed and I feel kind of <laughs> stupid about it. But uh, so one of the games I picked up was uh, Kabuki Clash, which is uh, Far East of Eden. Uh, Tenkai Makyo Shinden. I forgot about this game. It, I always had it in the back of my mind because uh, here in the United States, uh, they had the the only thing that I remember one time I went to a, an old like a mom pop game shop and they had the Neo Geo CD and this game was running on it and I thought it was awesome because the color palette in this game is is really really deep and rich and plus I remember the PC Engine Turbo Graphics game which I never played any of those RPGs, which is what this game is based off of. Really fun fighting game. It's got some really um, kind of simple game mechanics that you can kind of get through. And I was able to play through and get to the boss. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's, it's really a, a, a really uh, cartoony style. Uh, you know, you, you already know about it. If you guys got Neo CD or you got the MVS, really good game to have. So I was glad to pick that up. And... Not without any defects, though. I did get it with the case, but I, the snap case is actually broken. So you might have saw this one on eBay and probably passed up on it because the snap case was broke. So just warts and all, you know. But I was able to get a good deal on it, so that's how it happened. Uh, next up, real quick. I have Real Belt, but I didn't have Real Belt Special. So I was able to pick this up. Another game that was able that was actually pretty reasonable uh, because it's not in like the greatest shape, perfect shape, you know. It's got a little bit of a uh, fade on the side, warts and all. So I picked this up even though I even have it. You know, I, I have this game on the Neo Geo X, but you know, I just wanted to be legit and have an AES copy, and it was a good price. I'm gonna tell you guys, Neo Geo games are starting to get really expensive really kind of really out there I don't know man. I don't know if it's gonna be the type of thing you want to get into if you're retro because it's really expensive but uh, see what I've been playing I've been playing a lot of different games the one game that I'm really proud that I picked up was this one and that's a uh, Soku Gorintai I believe is how you say it in Japanese I'm not <laughs> please you know, correct me if I'm wrong, Soku Gorintai. Soku Gorintai. Uh, the arcade name, if this game was brought out in English, would have been Terra Diver. You talk about an awesome game. This game completely kicks ass. And I would have never known about it because back in, like, the 90s, when I had my Sega Saturn and I was doing Sega Saturn import games, I didn't know crap about this because I wouldn't have had any way of reference referencing this game because I had no name and this all would have been in katakana and kanji and I would have had no reference and I never saw this game in the arcade which would have been made on the Sega but STV Titan hardware I never saw this in the US this game is completely awesome completely awesome Let's see what else I picked up now, when it comes to RPGs, when you say, when you talk to me and you say RPG, I say, an RPG is, you're in a maze, you're fighting for your life, you're collecting treasure, going through dungeons, and fighting monsters. And that's what wizardry is. So I picked this game up for a while, I've been playing it, and this is my type of RPG, old school, you know, just back to basics, dungeon crawling, treasure, mazes, monsters, fighting your way through, and this has a good storyline, really dark, kind of like a depressing game, but I recommend it. Wizardry, uh, Land of the, uh, was it? Uh, Tale of the Forsaken Land. Never played it back in the day, so I'm playing it now, so it's a fresh experience for me. Let's see what else we got here. Got a couple recommendations. Uh, one recommendation, uh, a buddy of mine, you know, for that price, hey, you can't go wrong for about four bucks, five bucks. Uh, one of my buddies uh, recommended this game to me, Metal Gear Rising, and I've yet to play it and get through it and see what see what it's it's about. But 
it's a game I want to try. I mean, he had mentioned uh, that it was a lot like Strider, which is one of my favorite games, so I had to pick it up just for that recommendation. So one of these days I might play through it and show you guys, see, if, see what I think about it. And uh, picked up a couple more games. I'm trying to make it quick. Um, some PS2 games that I haven't seen in a while. Now, I am not a Persona fan. I've never played any of the Persona games, but these come recommended from a lot of you guys who you know I subscribe to, so I want to check some of them out. This is Persona... F what is this? Persona 3 FES? Not into the Persona world, but Shin Megami Tensei, so you guys tell me if this, this is something I should delve into. So, let me know. Let me know. And... This is a funny one because I don't have a PS3, but I picked this up anyway. Well, you guys are probably going to laugh at me. I picked up Dragon's Crown for the PS3, and I don't own a PS3. But I know this is a game that I would absolutely love, and I've seen all the reviews on it. I've seen people talk about it. Many good um, um, YouTube video game channels talk about this game. This is absolutely up my alley. Hand-drawn artwork, beautiful, you know, brawling action with RPG elements mixed in like Dungeons and Dragons. This is a game I will have to have, and one of these days I'll pick up a PS3. <laughs> yeah, I, I really want to play this game. So that's pretty much it for me for pickups, man. And just wanted to uh, touch base with you guys and make sure that everyone's having fun. And let me know what you guys have been playing, man. I'd appreciate it. All right, peace.